Praise God, my dear friends. It's a wonderful day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. I am grateful to God for all of you. I'm always praying for all of you, believing that God is working something wonderful in your life. And today I'm talking about something that I like uh, mentioning every other time, those of you who know me well, is that I am never forsaken. I am never forsaken. Now, there's a difference between being alone and being forsaken. Being forsaken, basically, is someone deliberately choosing to abandon you at a time of need. Being alone can be out of choice, can be out of circumstance, but being forsaken is someone else who you thought would be with you in a time of need, a time of difficulty, choosing not to be there for you. And that's what you're looking at today. Because at times whenever we are walking as Christians, you find yourself at time feeling alone, but you'd rather be alone and never forsaken. Because when you're alone and Christ is with you, you're not forsaken. So today I'm saying I'm never forsaken because I want us to have the confidence today that no matter what you face, that the Lord will not abandon you. Forsakening someone is deliberately choosing to be away from them. Deliberately choosing to leave them behind. And my friends, God cannot leave you behind. And read, read from Isaiah 60, 62 verse 4. It says this, though, though, though you shall no more be termed forsaken, neither shall your land no more be termed desolate, but shall be called Hephzibah, and your land Beulah, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. My dear friends, it's very important. This is the Lord speaking to a nation and saying that, you know what, you will not be forsaken. No one will be called, no one will call you forsaken. No one will abandon you. But he's putting it also on his own self. Because when he says that, 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 uh, that you shall be called Hephzibah, you know, he's actually speaking very, very, uh, very good prophetic words. Because very, very quickly, if I read for you, what he's saying is this. He's saying that you shall be called, my delight is in you. My delight is in you, you know, but you will not be forsaken. So they want us to have the confidence that no matter what happens in your life, you are not forsaken. God cannot deliberately abandon you. God cannot deliberately walk away from you. No, 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 no. No matter how bad it gets. When things become tight, people run away. When things become tight, people abandon. When things become tight, people forsake. But when things become tight, the Lord is always with you. No matter what difficulty you're facing this wonderful morning, my dear friends, the Lord is with you and the Lord will not abandon you. And that should be confidence. You might be going through a difficult moment, a difficult time in your business, in your marriage, in your family. The conviction is that you are not going to be forsaken. Being forsaken, my friends, is a deliberate decision. Someone choosing to say, I will not be available for you in your time of need. The Lord is saying it differently. He's saying, I choose to be available for you in your time of need. When everyone else fails to pick up your calls, I will be there to answer you. That's what he's saying. When there's no one to give you a helping hand, I'll be available to give you a helping hand. He says, you'll no longer be called forsaken. You will be called, my delight is in you. Because the Lord delights in you. And he cannot let you down. That is our conviction. So get out there with confidence today that you are never and you'll never be forsaken in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, I bless your holy name and I glorify you, Lord, for the gift of life and your Holy Spirit. I thank you for my brother, my sisters, Lord, watching this, the Lord. These are your sons and your daughters, Father. And Almighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, that they may come to understand that, Lord, they'll never be forsaken by you. I want you, Father, to build that faith and the belief that, Lord, we are not going to be forsaken. But Lord, when things get hard, no matter what they are going through, but Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, may they be sure that, Lord, they'll never be abandoned, neither will they be forsaken. Lord, you've made a choice to love us. You've made a choice to care for us. You've made a choice to be with us whenever we need you. So, Father, I pray today, that, Lord, let everyone have the understanding and the faith that they'll never be alone. It is just in prayer thanksgiving. Amen. My brothers and sisters, go out there with confidence. You will not be alone. You are not alone. No matter what you are facing, you are not forsaken. God cannot deliberately abandon you. Stay blessed.